Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. Today I've got the new ABH palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals palette and I was not going to buy this. And then I was in Vegas and I had a moment of weakness and a Sephora. There we go. Let's do three licks of this one palette. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm a lady of a certain age. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I get nothing in PR. This is all stuff that I bought with my own money. Making some choices uh, to change that a little bit, just so you guys are aware. This palette, when I actually saw it in person, I was like, wow, this is really, this is really pretty. And, and she's got some grungy greens and grungy taupes, and she's got that combination of mattes and, and shimmers metallics that i absolutely love and as i was looking at this she leapt into my cart so let's do an look with this we're gonna uh we're gonna do three looks as i said one of them is gonna be a little bit more of a let's kick up one of them is gonna be more of a work look because that's part of my my world part of my lifestyle one of them is gonna be more of a date night look and then i'm gonna do kind of a little bit more of a fun fun look that i would wear just like i don't know on a normal basis i guess what i'm gonna say here Something that I could wear while I'm out and about running errands every day. Okay, you guys, that shade right there, that's my work one and done. I I don't need anything else. I, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put something else on it. I'm gonna take this kind of taupey shimmer right here, which is sort of a pair of it. And hold on, can we do the ASMR thing? No, that was like silent. That, that, that was not helpful. All right, but at least now I got a mirror. Okay, so that green that I'm putting on right now, which is called Haze. It's like a taupey green gold shimmer. While that's beautiful, I don't know that I would wear this on my lids for, I might just have to do just that one taupe shade that I started with and, and leave it at that. Whether this becomes like my work look, which is probably a little bit more sparkly than I would normally wear, or just like my work from home work look, I don't know that I would do much more than that. I'm gonna take the darkest shade in here called Noble, just a little bit on the tip of this brush here, just to kind of deepen out that outer lap. All right, you guys, super fast, super easy, very simple, absolutely something that, as I have it on my lids, that I, oh yeah, I could wear this for work. Definitely wear it on a work from home day. Throwing on a quick quote, coat of the Jones Road mascara, which I absolutely adore. I didn't use the Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer beforehand because I'm not sure where my ABH one is. I've got it around here somewhere. This shade right here called Nocturne is what's jumping out at me the most. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with that on my movable lid. Oh, wow. I was not going to get this palette, you guys. When I first saw this, I'm like, okay, it's a neutral palette. And why do I feel like I have all those shades? And this is one of those perfect examples of when I saw it in person, I... I couldn't walk away from it. Normally, I, I get a pretty good gauge on a palette by looking at the photos of it, and either I didn't study them, or I didn't pay attention, or I was quick to quick to judge. But uh, when I saw this in person, I was like, "Why did I not? Why did I not know that this is going to be this pretty?" All right, that shade is stunning. I think I'm going to take this shade right here, but I want to take it on a brush. So the first the first one that I used was called Nocturne. This one's called Nova. This is a little bit like a greenish gold, and I'm just gonna build this a little bit to the top of Nocturne. Wow, this is a fun date night look, absolutely. And I love grungy greens anyway. This satisfies my, my need for the dark, the smoky, the grungy greens. I'm gonna take the taupe that I used in the other, um, the other look called Ashes, and I'm just gonna lightly work this into that ledge. And blending, these are blending beautifully. I saw somebody say that since they got this palette, they haven't been able to put it down. I think I get it. I think this makes a beautiful, beautiful, fantastic fall palette. I'm going to take this gold right here. And that's going to be my inner corner. This one's called Heavenly. These shimmers are very, very, very soft. Put a little highlight there. All right. Along those lines, I'm going to take um, a little bit more of Nocturne, which is the kind of taupey grayish shimmer. And that's going underneath my lower lash line. Wow, that is super pigmented. Oh, love that. Okay. I feel like I need to soften up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with ashes again. And I'm just going to buff that along the edge just to kind of soften up. And I've still got this, you know, super dark, smoky look. I'm going to go in with the whole 80s, almost like a heroin chic. It's so travels so uh, far down. Kind of looks a little slept in. But you guys saw I just put it on. I did a smoky, sultry kind of date night. This is what I would wear for date night. I might throw on some black liner, maybe uh, maybe a lash or maybe not. I'm kind of now looking at my top going, I should wear this 
for today, but and I have to make a change. It's not that much different than this one, even though I used all different shades. This one's a little bit lighter. I used that taupe and then a little bit of uh, haze was the, the shimmer that I put on here. It's slightly less grungy and dark than this one is. This palette is fantastic. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna come back and do a, let's do two more looks. I'm gonna, I wanna do something with these kind of raspberry, like the royal and the rose quartz. And uh, I wanna do something with the warmer matte in here called Dune. So give me just a second, let me take this off, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, let's do a third look. Moving on, I keep using the Sigma switch to clean my brushes off and I just need to switch brushes. Yay for that. Okay, we're gonna start with this beautiful rose quartz shade. Again, the palette has a little bit of kick up to it, but it's not horrible. I think the way the palette is lined out too gets you some really beautiful combinations. That shade right there just reminds me of the Sigma New Mod, New Mod, New Mood, New Mod palette, the mod. You know what I'm talking about? It's very pretty. Kind of a, I mean, it's a dusty mauve. All right, I'm gonna take the Royal. Is it a metallic? Well, I can absolutely see certain influencers use this palette and not much else and how it would be like on their daily. I mean, maybe not when they're filming, but like those two shades, I can see Samantha March using those two shades and just being like, boom, boom, done out the door and it would look beautiful on her. It looks pretty on me too. I mean, don't get me wrong. The shades are shades are really pretty, but as I'm playing with these, I'm going, oh, I can see this influencer using this and, and that. Okay, those are really pretty. I'm gonna take the dark brown matte in here. Again, this is called Noble and I'm just gonna deepen this up here, give my eye just a little bit more structure. I'm going through this phase in my life right now where I'm trying to get everything under control and everything dialed in and organized. And I think part of that is a uh, reaction to just some depression that I've got a lot of people in my family that are going through right now. And I feel like if I can get some of my stuff in, in better shape, then I'll be stronger to help them. I don't know what happens if if I go through a serious part of depression. I mean, there are days that I feel down and then I feel like I don't have time. I don't have time to go down this dark path. I, too many people count on me. Being sick, um, I'm grabbing this dusty rose again, dusty matte shade here, or mob shade. Being sick, with what I suspect was COVID, even though I tested negative, is uh, I, I just, I didn't have time. I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid liner. This could go very badly if my contacts are, are blurry or if my contacts are watering. My eyes are watering, I guess my contacts. So I think that, you know, as my, as I've got members of my family that are going through some, some hard times and with me traveling and not being here, support them. And then when I am, you know, I was sick this last time. I just hope that if I can get some of the environment around here under control, then I will be stronger to be able to help them through their stuff. I don't know, you guys. I don't have the answers. Going back in with that Jones Road mascara. This is a solid, solid mascara. I've been very much enjoying this. All the products that I've tried from Jones Road, um, some of them are okay. Some of them are just, maybe it's just not a product that I normally would like. I still don't know what to do with that, with the foundation and the balm, the Miracle Balm stuff. I'm hoping that as it gets to be more winter, it'll make more sense. But this mascara, yeah, I would put this put this down against some of my absolute favorites. Okay, so that's kind of like a subtle, smoky, you know, a different look than the previous two. Uh, I thought this would be a little bit more vibrant on the eye. Very, very pretty to swatch. I just went into it with a probably too light of a hand here. Okay, so I'm gonna do uh, a, a fourth, fourth and final look on this eye over here. We're gonna do um, a little bit more of these warmer shades. I'm gonna start with Sunrose, which is kind of a, almost like an apricotty shimmer. Oh my gosh, the kick up on this is, uh, m the last pa palette that I used before I started filming with this was a Pat McGrath palette and there was virtually no, no fallout, no kick up, nothing. It was just an amazing experience. This one, it's just like, oof, I, I feel like I'm gonna lose half the palette just because it loosely pressed. I say that, but then this particular brush that I'm using is really rough too. This is that Morphe E17 that I got rid of one of them, but apparently I had another one. And I like the size, it's just very rough. Go into Dune, which is this warm colored 
matte in here and this brush is a little bigger than I need to. Yeah, this is causing a lot of kick up too. It's not just that other brush. The the I mean the eyeshadows are performing. They're blending well. They're very, very beautiful. I don't know that I can take this one to work though. Okay, I've got two shades in here that I haven't used yet. Uh, I'm going to take Element, which is this one right here. This looks to me like one of those shades that I would do an all over the lid with maybe a bronzer buffing out my uh like as a transition and be done i think that shade is gorgeous so you know how like natasha Denona has her dream palette and it's all the colors that she wants this is a really good shot really good kind of first draft on what i would have as a dream palette i think these the coppers and the bronzes are so beautiful with brown eyes. I love a grungy green. This is going to be too neutral for, for the serious color lover. I love this palette and I so wasn't going to do it. I'm going to grab the, the light kind of shimmer in here called Heavenly. I'm going to pluck a little bit of that right here. Did you see how fast this was? All of these looks, they were so stinking fast. So fast, so easy, so blendable. I'm not trying to convince you guys of this palette. I'm just saying, I'm loving this. Love, 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 Oop, love. Okay, I'm gonna take the dark matte in here uh, called Noble, and I'm just gonna deepen this up just a little bit. It's just a soft, rich, kind of almost like mink-like look. I love this. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup uh, down below, put some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, that is look number four. A little bit warmer than my kind of cool tone, sort of mauve purpley look over here. It's, that's so pretty. I don't know which one I like better. You guys leave me a comment down below. Tell me, did you like one, two, three, or four better? I did um, kind of a daytime look, like work work appropriate look and then I did a date night look look largely with this nocturne they both ended up looking very similar I thought um this one's a little bit more of a cool toned again kind of the mauve look kind of a different vibe especially with that black eyeliner I don't know if I did that perfectly I probably could have been a little bit more specific with that um this this is all fall feels for me I love this I would wear this for date night I would wear this for my husband's band night I would wear this for like every day curl up with a, a cup of hot cocoa maybe a little bit of baileys and the fireplace and the and the book I, that's a life i wish i had right now and i don't have time for that kind of stuff i need to get that place i need to get to the place where i have more things in more time in my life for the things that i really enjoy i'm hoping that as i declutter and de-stress and clear out some of the the noise in my environment that i will find more time for the things that i really enjoy i feel like like over the last two or three years, I've gotten so far away from some of that. And as things have gotten back into normal and I'm traveling again for work and I'm traveling again for, you know, I'm getting back over to Scotland again, you know, with all of that going on, I want to get to the place where I can add in some of the things that I miss and that I love. And that might be picking up a book. I can start by reading on a plane as opposed to trying to get caught up on sleep on a plane. Yeah, I needed to do that. Do you guys struggle with finding balance? I felt like I've always struggled with finding balance. Anyway, you guys, there's enough of me babbling. I've got a couple of these chatty, chatty get readies with me, but here's four looks using the ABH, uh, what is she calling this? This is the ABH Rose Metals palette. I'm not getting too many rose. I guess this is kind of like a dusty mauve. That was closest I got to rose, I think, on this metallic. Sure, I like this palette. This is a great palette. Maybe do a ranking video at the end of the year of my, like, the palettes that I loved the most. This is gonna have to be one of them because this is really, really pretty. I love this. This is, not saying this is my, my perfect palette. I'm missing maybe a couple shade to make this the the Shelly dream palette but this is right up there gives me lots to lots to play with lots to work with all right you guys I hope you guys are doing really really well sorry I just threw that palette over my, my box so that I could take it to the other room uh, I hope you guys are doing really well I hope you guys know that I care about you guys immensely I hope that if you are struggling you you are able to find help I gotta figure out how to help my family all right you guys I love you guys I hope you guys are doing really well and until my next video bye for now